back, taking a look at this socket, you can see a light behind. So what I will do is take out that filler and just where the screw hole is. I'll pop a bit of foam just in here. And I'll be able to fill this. It won't be a problem because I'll be able to anchor the filler. And that'll be that solved. Just change the screws on this as well. Foam cut back. And I've just removed that filler off the edge. Now I need just to wet in and get it filled. That's looking okay now. One of the best tools you can have in your box filling between sockets perfect This is the choice of paper, just a random pattern, so that's not too bad for putting on. It's like a hessian type weave to it. There's a bit of colour that's going on, jasmine white, just off white. Ceiling finished, all done. Um, Artex ceiling that one. You may wonder why they're still putting Artex ceilings up. Well, there's only one reason why they put these up. When these boards are put in, all they do is scrim them and then put the Artex on top. Job done. Guarantee, if I was to start to try and take that Artex off, it will go straight back to board. See the, the joints in the boards, there's one there, there's another one running here, they're really quite bad. If you were to try and skim that ceiling with plaster, get rid of them, it'll take you a while. There's a heck of a lot of plaster as well. So the main reason why you see those in new build is because, again, Hides a multitude of sins. So, <clears throat> over the side, put all the filling done around the side of this fireplace. And cut the cork off the top there, clean that back. Now, with some of these areas where there was any dark colours, I'll just put a bit of uh, emulsion on. Put the paint on there just to knock them out. Around this window. All filled. Removed all that cork. Looking a lot better. A lot cleaner as well. Over this side. So we have this uh, leak. Again, took out that pink plaster with a bit of emulsion paint. And that's finished there now. So, bin primer all the way around where the water stain was. That's still going off a little bit there now, that filler. All the woodwork done. 
this socket filled as well. That's looking all right. Won't have a problem there. This goes looking good. Never painting these, painting this inside here, this edge of the doors. This edge comes in with this side. Again, that edge with this side. And then on the architrave, the only edge you want to be doing is this one here. This edge with this face for this side. That's all you need to do for these doors. Again, radiator finished and eggshell. I'll have two coats. It's looking quite smart. All I need to do is put these shades back up. And I'll be finished for the day. Let this oil base go off. First thing tomorrow, the paper goes on. Our last shade to go in now. These can be quite awkward, um, especially if you've not got the tool to put these back in. So, we get the shade. A little locking cap. You can get it started, but then there's only so far you can get with it. So what I've decided to do is just cut down a bit of tube, split the end so it'll splay a bit, and that'll just get me over that. I can screw that back up. That's nice and tight. Brilliant. Started papering. What I like to do um, when putting a paper on that I've never put on before, you put lots of paper on, but everyone's different. Um, I like to start an easy wall, straightforward wall, so I get the feel of the paper, know how it soaks, how it cuts, and just generally how it handles. So the next wall that I'm going to be doing is this one. I've decided instead of putting a piece up the centre, I'll put a mark. I'm going to put my first piece to here. Just gives me less waste on this full length. These will just be pieces. So, one length that way and then tap the paper toward the window and then toward the corner. So I'll look at this that I've been putting on over here. Not a bad paper to put up. It's going up quite easy. I'm quite happy with it. And um, this is where the radiator was, where we had the leak. That's all sorted. And I'm just in the process of putting these plates back on. Um, these screws, I decided just to file the heads of these down. Don't be bothered going, running around, trying to find some screws for this. I'm fixing someone else's work. So I'll just file them back, screw this up, and I'll have a go at putting the plate on. I've not tried it yet. There. You can see how I've cut the paper and put it behind there. On this one up here, I'm in the process of cutting it. So mark each of these corners all the way around. 
and then because these have got chrome I made me first cut up here to this corner and then literally just knit round and start to trim off so I am only taking it back a small amount I don't want too much sitting over I'll have a go at putting this on in a minute. Moment of truth. Let's see if it goes on. Good job. When you're putting these screws in, tightening them up, make sure that these are level. And if they're slightly out, they'll just look proper bad. And you'll have to get them off again. This paper's wet and I don't want to be going near this now. Neat cut in there. I've just got one more side to do. On the other side, I'll show you how I get around this. So I'll just show you that before I do any cuts. No tearing. Now I can just cut straight to the end. We've got this piece to cut down here. Most important cuts when you're doing this is where your joints are. So where any joint sits at the bottom as long as every piece is completely in line it'll be nigh on impossible to pick up where those joints are once this paper's dried that'll be sound or just a few more lengths to go on that wall and the next time we see this it's going to be finished 